uh, what I was interested about the image and the sound was uh, the backstage, uh, that there are people that we cannot see them in front uh, of the screen on, or on stage uh, that are unseen. And these hidden relationships were very um, uh, inspiring for me. Well done, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, hi everyone. Um, while Ioana gets her breath back, well deserved. Um, just quickly introductions. Uh, my name is Hetain Patel. I'm a visual artist, uh, filmmaker, performance maker. Um, this is Grace, who's uh, doing BSL interpretation for us. And of course, to my left is Ioana Baraskevopoulou. Um, dancer and choreographer based in Athens. Um, Ioana's artistic practice, uh, as you saw from the piece, focused on the relationship between audio, visual media and movement, reconfiguring the expansion of the choreographic field. Um, she's worked with lots of other artists uh, as well, collaborated with Iris Karyan, Christos Papadopoulos, uh, Alexander Weistahl, amongst many others, as well as her stage works, also creates work on video, has been part of lots of video art festivals, collecting lots of awards as she goes. Um, and this piece, Moss, uh, was selected as part of one of the Airwaves 2023 works. Uh, would you please welcome back onto the stage, Ioana paraskev -Bull. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. It was such a satisfying, mesmerizing, funny, wonderful performance. Um, first of all, the title. Um, could you tell where that comes from? Is it MOS? Is it M-O-S? Yes, it's uh, M-O-S. It's the initials of three words, mute, out, sound. Uh, it's a term that is used in cinema. And it also means different other definitions like um, uh, movie on screen, uh, uh, microphone of stage, microphone on stage. And uh, it has 20 more definitions. But I chose the, the mute out sound because I needed a title that was uh, really direct and uh, would describe the function that we do on stage. So for me, it was, uh, I saw it. Uh, in my research, and I immediately picked it up, and uh, I said, that's my title, Moss. Yes. Thank you. Maybe that's a bit of a clue then. Um, could you tell us a bit about where this piece comes from? Is it that you have a specific interest in Foley and film, or is it something else? I was always interested in image, generally, and uh, I love cinema because uh, it uh, it gives me a, a, a wide space when I watch films and I feel this holistic experience. I saw a video on YouTube actually when uh, in which Foley artists did their job. So uh, until then I, I didn't have a clue. I didn't know what Foley was. I studied and still I'm studying audiovisual arts and in, uh, during a course I saw a video uh, of uh, Foley artists. I have to explain what is Foley because maybe it's not... Uh, I, I showed it to you, but maybe it's not uh, clear. Uh, there are some uh, professionals uh, after the creation of the film that uh, use uh, different kind of uh, materials, props, their bodies, uh, different kind of surfaces and many other DIY uh, stuff in order to create, recreate uh, the sound of the movie because in the shootings there, there isn't always the perfect quality of sound. There are many sounds, so they basically mute the, the sound of the movie and they recreated it uh, or they amplify the sound of it. Uh, so I saw this video and I was very impressed because what they did, it was very direct and I, I didn't have to think about everything and it was playful and um, yeah, it was funny for me and uh, I saw these two guys um, that uh, were playing their roles, uh, basically they, they were in the movie 
uh, in a chasing scene and uh, they were in the recording studio and they recreate their sound. So I was very mesmerized by this and uh, I had the opportunity uh, via, via an open call in Athens and I first did, an, uh, did a video project, All She Likes is Popping Bubble Up. You can see it online uh, in this festival, in Dance Umbrella Festival, and it was my first uh, experience with Foley. So I did a solo and then I wanted to do it live and uh, I invited my friend and great dancer, Georgios Kotsifakis, and we, we did MOS. Um, that's the story behind the, my interest in Foley. Brilliant, thank yes. you. Um, I guess that I'm, I'm, to follow up that then, I'm wondering, could you tell us a little bit about the different modes of performance? Yes. Kind of, I'm, I'm thinking about um, sort of the practical element of you following film and then dancing towards the end, do they feel different? Tell us a bit about how you put du them together. During the performance, yes. During the performance there are three parts. The first part is basically when we see, we all see us, the performance, and you, the audience, the, the screen on stage. So in the first part, uh, we just do the folly artist, so we are a little bit uh, distant from uh, ourselves and we produce the sound, so uh, we just show the technique of it. There is also a funny story, not funny, but I wanted to uh, do foley in Hitchcock's movie The Birds, but I couldn't do it because it has uh, copyrights. So uh, I wanted the, the first part to, ha to have the sound of... Uh, Wings. So um, I started uh, searching for birds flying, etc., and I ran into this uh, crazy woman that she, <laughs> she thought that she could uh, fly like a bird. <laughs> so I, I saw many videos with first attempts on flying. It, it, uh, you can search it, it's really uh, funny and very uh, emotional for me because there is this need to go off the ground and fly. And they, they fell always uh, like from uh, mountains and uh, yeah, disaster. <laughs> and uh, I picked this uh, woman that uh, the audience always laugh uh, with her, so it's a big success. <laughs> And uh, the second part, uh, when, uh, when the, we do the foley between us, so the, it's like I chose the screen to, I put the screen between us, so we did like foley, um, like in everyday life, uh, when I put my clothes and I wash my hair. And then the image uh, goes behind the audience and then somehow we begin to, to transform uh, into actors. We are between uh, foley artists that uh, are just presenting the, the, the function of this process, and, but because the, the scenes that you cannot see, of course you can turn your head, but uh, are basically uh, chase scenes or fight scenes, so we, we are really into it and uh, there is this uh, strength and uh, em embodiment. Uh, so uh, the second part is more the actors of uh, the, the process. And uh, in the last part, uh, what I wanted to do is to reverse the, the function of Foley and uh, basically Vanis, the sound engineer, to uh, make Foley to us. So uh, we danced the tap dance. Uh, we took the specific uh, tap dance scene from uh, Royal Wedding, a uh, movie with Fred Astaire. We learned the steps. It was very difficult, but we learned it. And uh, we recorded it. And then uh, what we record is the Foley to us. So we turn into the protagonists of the, of the movie. And, and is, this, is this something you're generally interested in? It feels like you're kind of creating movement and choreography from different sources, from film, yes. from sound, yes. and different ways to activate your bodies. Is this something, that, an ongoing concern? Yes, because about three years ago, I was a little bit, sorry for the word, bored with dance. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't understand it. As an audience, I felt like I, I, I couldn't feel something, and uh, I wanted to find something, something different into my dance practice. So I was interested about the image and the sound, was uh, the backstage. There are people that we cannot see them in front uh, of the screen on, or on stage uh, that are unseen. 
And these hidden relationships were very inspiring for me. There was also the craft characteristic that uh, this uh, process has, that you use your hands to do something. And it's really um, direct and uh, it uh, gives an imprint to, the, to, to me and to the audience. So yes, I'm trying to find um, different kind of expressions uh, to um, yes to express fir first myself and to maybe find a, a more direct communication with the audience. That's my concern because dance is a little bit. Uh, I don't have a problem with nonsense. I, I like it a lot, but sometimes I, I'm a little bit uh, confu confused when I see dance. So that's my prob problematic. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm afraid we've run out of time. Um, thank you so much for answering so it? in depth. Okay. We have to be fair. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. thank you for coming. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>